my book, Born Back On, is a description of how I took my four children with my husband around the French overseas territories. Now, people might not know this, but France has sort of almost like an empire of tiny little islands and slithers of jungle around the world, which are French. You fly the tricolour, everyone plays the prank, everyone drinks Perrier and red wine, and they speak French, they read Le Monde, and they use the Euro. It is absolutely extraordinary, and I was desperate to go and see what they were like. I think the challenges for my husband and I on this trip were the fact that we were doing work, we were filming, we were recording, we were making documentaries when we were out there, but also we were in charge of four small children. And my father, when he waved us off at the airport, he said, there's only one thing that's important about this trip. There's one thing that's important. Keep the children safe. That was it. Doesn't matter about the filming. Doesn't matter about your journalism. Doesn't matter about your luggage even. Just keep the children safe. And that actually was paramount. When you're being buffeted around by typhoons in the Atlantic on the coast of French Guiana, you know, that is uppermost in your mind. That's one of the reasons why I chose the French overseas territories to go around, because there was an infrastructure there. There was, you know, there was investment in decent roads and a proper health service, proper health care and proper transport. So if there was a disaster, it would have been okay. So I've got four children uh, and on our trip they were aged four, between four and twelve and they are all pretty strong characters. My husband is also a pretty strong character and I'm a pretty strong character. So at home, back in London, things are quite lively, yet yeah, there are a few contretemps from now and then. Immediately we got underway on our massive epic voyage around the world which took four months and, and 40,000 miles. The arguing stopped, particularly when we first arrived. No one knew we, our emails had got lost. No one knew, no one was ready for us. It was totally foggy, it was wet. We were staying in a hideous sort of basement um, uh, room. The loo exploded overnight and all the contents of the sewer were all over the, the bathroom floor. There was no food. And the children just sensed that we all had to pull together. Otherwise, we were going to go home with our tail between our legs. It was going to be embarrassing and awful. And they just, they were quiet, they put their cagoules on, they went out into the biting wind and the pouring rain and they just got on with it. And it was, you know, in terms of a family bonding experiment, I thoroughly recommend it. Give your kids a bit of hardship and see how wonderfully they'll respond.